block tunnel dialysis catheters. Before we begin, prepare the following items. A sterile dressing set, sterile gloves, hexodane solution, 10 ml syringe times 3, 1 3 ml syringe, 2 needles, 2 cat bunks, 1 valve of urokinase, 60,000 units per valve, 2 valves of normal saline, and 1 valve of concentrated heparin, 5,000 units per ml. Next, prepare your gauze. Soak at least 4 pieces of gauze into the hexodane. This will help during your sterilizing of the perm cap or tunnel dialysis catheter caps and clamps. Subsequently, open up your green towel and drip it over your patient's tunnel dialysis catheter has soap. Proceed to take out one of the pots and clean both the cap and the clamp using your sterile gauze that is soaked in hexodane. Clean the cap and discard the cap. Subsequently, with a gauze, with a cotton ball, clean the tip of the perm calf catheter at least 10 times each direction, both clockwise and anti-clockwise directions. Do not forget to clean the clamp with your other sterile gauze. Repeat the procedure for your other pot. Next, with a 10 ml syringe, attempt to aspirate from both pots. You should try to aspirate at least 2 ml of blood per pot. If unable to aspirate, test the other pot. If you are unable to aspirate, attempt to flush both pots with saline. Fill your syringe with saline. And attempt to flush it with saline. If able to flush, you will subsequently move on to administering of urokinase. However, if you are unable to flush both pots, you have to arrange for an exchange of the tunnel dialysis catheter at the IR department. Next, we shall go on to reconstituting the urokinase. Using your valve of urokinase 60,000 units, inject normal saline into the valve to dissolve all the urokinase powder. The volume of saline to be used is the sum of the volume of the two pots. If each pot is 2 ml, you will dissolve the urokinase in 4 ml of normal saline. You will need the help of an assistant or friend as the valve is not sterile. Once all the urokinase has dissolved, withdraw all the urokinase, then administer the corresponding volume into each pot. Proceed to administer the urokinase of appropriate volume into each pot. Now, you will actually just cover up the existing pots with the yellow clamp, with the yellow cap, and then you will leave the urokinase to dwell in the perm cap for one hour. During this period, ensure that you cover up the perm cap with the, with the sterile green towel. And ensure that the patient stays in bed for next one hour. We shall come back after one hour to test the flow of the perm cap. We return to the patient after one hour. Before we go back to the patient, ensure you have the following equipment available. At least three 10 ml syringe, 
two five mil syringe, two new caps, and a green needle. And similarly, your sterile set with gauze and hexodyne soap cotton. We shall again begin by preparing your gauze that is soaked in hexodyne so that we can clean your, hex your perm cap caps and clamps before we start. Next, we go back to the patient, open up the dressing set or the sterile cloth. Again, before we start, we shall remember to clean both the caps and the clamps of the pots. This is extremely important to ensure that the patient does not get an aligned sepsis, which can be fatal or require long duration of antibiotic treatment. Similarly, clean the second pot. Next, use your 5 mil syringe and attempt to aspirate the urokinase out from the pot. Aspirate at least 2 mil of blood to ensure that all the urokinase has been removed. Discard the syringe. Using your second 5 mil syringe, attempt to do a similar thing and aspirate at least 2 mil of blood from the other pot. Do not return this blood to the patient. Now we shall go on to test the blood flow of each pot. Using a 10 mil syringe, attempt to aspirate and flush the blood at the same time. Blood must be able to draw smoothly and fill the syringe within 2 to 3 seconds. If the blood flow is not smooth or patent, you might have to reconstitute a urokinase and administer a second round. You may return this blood to the patient. Similarly, test the flow for the second pot. The flow should be smooth such that the syringe fills itself up within 2 to 3 seconds. Once you have ascertained that the pots are working well, you may proceed to lock the perm cap with hep saline or tegel caps depending on your own center protocol.